Pages is a static site hosting service that can be completely managed from the CLI. We don't even need a dedicated CLI tool that users need to install. All they need is SSHN's rsync. Here's the demo. Okay, imagine I'm a user and I have a website that I want to publish to Pages. Um, here is the, the folder. It's just an index file, basically a hello world. Now I want to upload it to Pages. How do I do that? Well, all you have to do is use rsync or SCP. So if we do rsync pages site, and then we click on the website, there it is, hello world. Pretty easy, right? And we, are, we get automatic TLS um, and everything just kind of works. Uh, another cool feature is we support SSHFS. So if you do SSHFS uh, pages dot slash sites, uh, slash site site, now, if we go into the site folder and crack open the hello world, do we have live reload, live changes? So I saved the file. All I did was just save it in Vim and it's published live. So that's really cool because now we can make all kinds of live edits to a website. Another really awesome use case for SSHFS for pages is <clears throat> um, because you can create as many sites as you want and projects as you want, you can actually create like development sites that are like like live um, using SSHFS. So if you have, let's just say you have a prod, a, a site called prod and a site called dev um, and you mount the dev site and make changes to it live, you basically get a dev server out of the box that is how the production pages uh, API functions, um, but it's mounted on localhost, which is pretty nice. Um, I also wanted to demo uh, instant deployments and rollbacks. You know, if you if you have very small sites with a couple static assets, you know, do you need to do an instantaneous deployment or have rollback support? Probably not. You just want to copy some files over and be done with your life. However, if you get to a point where you have hundreds of static assets that you need to upload um, and you want the deployments to happen instantaneously so you don't have any transient issues while files are being uploaded and users are accessing the website, you know, HTML files going missing or changing the name of HTML files or changing the content or breaking links because things are in flight, um, those are not ideal. And it takes time to upload hundreds of files to pages. So that's why we created instantaneous deployments. It's a way to basically flip a website over from one version of, of your site to the next. And I will demo that right now. So um, first, let's just ls grep site and see what we have. Um, I'm going to delete this site. So uh, sites, right. There we go. So that's how you, you would remove that website. Instantaneous deployments here. Um, essentially the way, the mechanism by which this works is we allow users to symbolically link projects to other projects. So that's a way to get instantaneous deployments. You just, you have a production site that you just symbolically link to other projects. And since you can create as many projects as you want on the fly, um, it, this works really well. So first things first, I want to deploy v1 of my website. So I'm going to create a new website on the fly called site v1. I upload it. Let's just click on it and make sure it works. It works. You can see the v1 here. I'll increase the font. Um, okay. So now we want our production site to link to site v1. So the way you would do that is um, pages sh link site prod to site v1 right. Okay, so now if we go to site prod, hey, there it is. Um, we didn't upload any static assets for site prod. We are just linking site prod to site v1. Um, so now let's say, let's say for, for example, we want to make a change. Does this work? 
So we've made a change and now we want to deploy that change. So what we would do instead of uploading to site prod, we would create a brand new site, um, and, but call it site v2. So if we click that, we've got site v2, we've got site prod, and let's get site v1 up just so we can see all of them. So we have site v1, we have site v2, and we have site prod. Okay. So now, again, to instantaneously deploy site prod, we would just link to site v2. So now if we go into site prod, which is this one, it's linking to site v2. And that's it. Um, because we're using symbolic links, symbolic links, let's just say, hey, there was a bug in site v2. We need to undo it really quickly so we can debug and triage. Well, that's really simple. You just link it to site v1. And now site prod is back to v1. And that's how instantaneous deployments and rollbacks work within the pages framework. Um,